Welcome, mi gente. Thank you for watching Gio's Latin Table. Today I'm gonna make something special for you. One of my recipes from Mi Havana Cuban Cuisine. Pollo a la plancha. One of the favorites is a Cuban dish. Obviously, it's probably shared in other countries, but called differently. And, um, but we're gonna do this the Cuban style way like I did in the restaurant. I normally would use uh, chicken breast and then just fillet it right through the middle and butterfly it really nicely. But today, all I had in the refrigerator was chicken tenders. So, we can still do the same thing and make it work. Okay, so we're gonna put some out here. I'm gonna cut out a little bit this nerve um, that comes pre-packaged on there. And get that out of the way. And we'll start with four. I'm gonna cover this up to reduce the uh, splatter of chicken. I'm gonna use a mallet and I'm gonna use the uh, small type of hose and kind of tenderize it and make it big. Imagine if you would have had a uh, breast filleted up in a really nice big piece. And once you sear it and put it on a plate, the second more than half of the plate, customers would be very happy with that big piece of chicken. Um, so we'll take this out and thin it out a bit, as you can see. Okay, so we are dropping that in there. They've all been uh, tenderized. We're going to put like about two tablespoons of olive oil and just kind of cover it up. And we are going also to use um, some lime juice. We're gonna put here one tablespoon. Give it a little nice city taste. We'll kind of massage that. And we're gonna put our seasoning that we use at uh, Mi Havana and I'll share that with you and I use this for a lot of the other um, dishes that I made and people just love the flavors of it and basically what it is what I use here is three tablespoons of cumin uh, two tablespoons of granulated garlic two tablespoons of granulated onion powder and two of kosher salt pretty much the same thing that I use for my last uh, showing on the um, yuca fries, but I, instead I had um, paprika. So same concept, and I'll put that up in, somewhere in this video. Okay, so I have it nice and seasoned. And we're gonna lay this in here. I'll put this to a medium heat, and we'll drop these chicken in there. And I'll use very little bit of oil in the frying pan because I want to get a nice sear to it, nice color to it. So I want it not to get too much saturated with the oil. Okay, so there it goes. Medium heat, get a nice color to that. And uh, let's see how these come out. All right, folks, we are ready to get our munchies on <laughs> so our chicken is ready um, earlier before I saute some onions I used a sweet onion for this and I'm gonna try to post something up on this video somewhere on the different type of onions and how they're used for so something that becomes some useful information for you and um, there it goes the chicken the sauteed onions, I basically julienned it and put them in the, in the pan and sauteed them. And I just sprinkled some kosher salt and it, that pretty much brings out the flavor on, on the onions. All right, so we're gonna come over here. And we are, I'm gonna just put some of this garlic cilantro aioli that I used for the um, my other episode. And I'm gonna slap this on here. And what better with some garlic and cilantro in a Latin type of sandwich. All right, we are going to grab the chicken with the onion and the 
the southern one is nice and caramelized. Looks beautiful. We're gonna put some avocados. Now you could obviously make this chicken and eat it with your rice and beans, or you can have it with some uh, verduras, which is basically vegetable root, and get that going. Uh, that looks beautiful. Cut this up here. Got some nice fresh bread this morning. I'm gonna put that there. Put the American flag on there. And you know, I just fried some yuca fries. I'm gonna put that on there also, but better to go with it. And some garnish, fresh cilantro. Isn't that beauty? Let's taste this. Oh gosh. Mmm. The, se the seasoning on the chicken is amazing. So make sure you make the seasoning when you're doing this chicken. You can use this for any other thing also, pork chops if you want. But you could taste that cumin flavor. The onions, beautiful. And the avocado, nice contrast and flavor. This is a really nice sandwich. I will pay $13, $15 for this plate right here. Hey, if you like this, I can't stop eating this, I'm sorry. But <laughs> if you like this, give me a thumbs up. And again, for the love of food, share the video with your family and friends. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe yet. And stay tuned for my next um, videos on Mihavano's recipes. Thank you for watching Geo's Latin Table. Until next time.